Happy Tuesday, everyone. I am Derek the Nitwit, and this is Bowser, who is 90% hair. And thanks for stopping by. For everyone who watched the video yesterday that wasn't able to see what the washcloth said, you hold it up. Oh, I'm sorry. Bowser thinks he's a parrot. I always used to say, when people would ask what kind of cat he was, I used to say he was a carrot. He's part cat, part parrot. Anyway, it says don't blink, which you kind of got to get it slightly at an angle and you can see it a little bit better um it doesn't work as well as, it doesn't show up as well as the TARDIS does so so that is what that said in the so I knit the um the don't blink washcloth yesterday so today was my DBT group. It was the first time going, and I really liked it. I was a little nervous going in, even to the point of, like, I'm sitting in the waiting room and thinking, you know, okay, well, you know, maybe I can just start it next week. You know, of course, then, you know, next week would be like, well, let's just start another week. But not. So I went ahead and went, and it was good. Um, I've done, you know, like I said, I've done a little bit of DBT before, and, um, it's, it's always been real beneficial to me. So today, and this is what they said, basically the format is, it's it's more of an education. It's not like a process group, like when you think of group therapy, where you go around and talk about your feelings. This is an education group, which is, it's, it's, that's fine. That's kind of what we need. Because mainly the people that are, you know, in this group, we weren't taught emotional regulation growing up. So this cat has got some sharp claws. So anyway, so the DB group, so today what we did today was basically it was called stop, and which was, you know, stop, take a step back, observe, and proceed mindfully. And so I mean, it's like whenever you're in a crisis situation, you know, instead of just immediately reacting, you need to work on stop. Oh, look, Little Miss is down here. So apparently Little Miss and Bowser are the only two that are getting along even a little bit. Yes, I'm holding someone else. So, but that was what group was today. And then after that, I went and ran errands and I had to go to the post office and I had to go to the post office twice because my oh so smart self forgot to, the address of the, where I was mailing a package. So I'm all the way at the mail, at the post office with the package with no address. So I had to leave and go get the address. And the reason I forgot the address was I was in a hurry this morning because I overslept because I was late getting to bed and I was late getting to bed because that video yesterday took forever to edit and process and get it ready for upload. So, oh, okay. If you're using claws, you're going somewhere else. Oh, hey, you. Look, there's little miss. Say hi. She's starting to behave a little bit. She runs all throughout the house, all over the house, playing with Max. And she doesn't really interact with the other cats. Now, earlier I had some treats and was giving out treats. And she decided that she was fine with sitting next to Bowser if, you know, she was getting a treat. But as soon as I was had run out of treats, you know, she disappeared off to the bedroom. So, I think she'll be fine. She's getting over her little hissy fit self. So, now I got... Happy Mail. I, this has been a week of all kind of neat little surprises. <coughs> I will... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> uh, I hate allergies. <coughs> and I hate the fact that living in Oklahoma means... <coughs> oh, and see, now she's going to hiss at Bowser. Um, <coughs> living in Oklahoma, I'm allergic to everything. You don't have, you can be someone that has absolutely no allergies. You move to Oklahoma, you get aller allergies. <coughs> so, anyway, I woke up the other day, checked my email, and I had a, my secret Santa, my secret Santa, my secret Valentine, had got me a gift card to Michael's. So, yay. And then I wake up this morning to a message from Jed Hansen with a gift <coughs> that I'm going to ch I'm going to choke over here that I'm going to pair um, Jenna's gift with the, um, the Secret Valentine's gift 
And I'm going to use that to buy the yarn to make the melody cardigan that Sabrina has um, has designed. And so once Sabrina lets me know how much yarn to buy that I'm going to need to buy for my size of the cardigan, then I'm going to go ahead and get that ordered. And I probably and Michaels, if you go online, you can order some from their bulk section, and you can actually get some really decent prices. Plus, I think I found there was a coupon code for forty percent off. So. Even better. What are you doing? <coughs> ah. And when I checked the mail today, I found this wonderful gift from Adele Romero. I got these stitch markers. And I found, you know, okay, so I had this nice little industrial piercing that has a loop in it. So it's like, so me being my goofy self. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe if I give myself a sign, okay, that'll work. It's not going to stay there, though, because somebody thinks it's a toy if it's hanging from my ear and dangling. But as I thought that was so so neat. And there, she ordered the stitch markers, came from Liz's Stitch Markers. And I'll have the link to her Facebook page down in the description below so that you can go check out the stitch markers and, and order some of your own. Okay, there you go. So what I've been working on today is the market bag and this, you know, the crochet pattern. This is more of that home deck yarn that Walmart has it in limited colors for like $6 a skein, which is everywhere else is like between 10 and 12, between 10 and $12 a skein. So I got from there. Now, usually it takes me a little over a full skein to make the market bag. So I went down a size on just down one size on the crochet hook to see if I can get a bag to fit just in one skein and um, it's still coming out it's still showing you know a decent size bag I mean you know even going down a size so I'll let y'all know what what it looks like you know with the smaller size once I finish it and then I started on this is a washcloth this is some of my yarn that I got from Mexico cotton yarn and it's just a um if you can see it simple little stitch where it's one row is single crochet and then the next row is skip a chain uh, skip a uh, stitch and then two half doubles in one stitch then skip the two half doubles and it just alternates those two rows so I'm working on work on that I'm not I have no clue where this hook came from. Um, I may have ordered it off eBay, not realizing it. I may have found it somewhere. I really don't know. Um, I'm not liking it too much because this is the size that the yarn says to use. But that, where's my lens? See that right there? It's just, this very tip is not sharp enough. Um, it's a little too rounded to be able to get into some of the stitches. And then this part under here, the bottom part, is a little shallow for the yarn. And so I'm constantly dropping the stitch and having to go back in there. And it's frustrating. So I think that after I do this one, and of course I'm this close into it, I may just rip it out and start over with a slightly bigger hook that I've got that's a different type um, that's actually from the the boy I think it's the, the ones that you can buy from Walmart in the little pink package or it comes with a little pink carrying case so I'll probably switch over to that one so that is and those are the only projects that I've got going on right now um, tomorrow is my official no pants day and I'm going to be working on that amigurumi project, project for uh, Chuck's nieces well, for one of the nieces, and to see what it looks like and if he likes it, and I may have to make a second one. So, but other than that, it's just a chill day. Um, tomorrow's a chill day. Today wasn't. Today was a lot of running around. But, you know, tomorrow, I'm going to try and get my, you know, get caught up on my YouTube videos and work on this Amigurumi project. So, I'll hopefully be able to have something I can show you in the video tomorrow so that you can see that I actually did something and not just played on my phone all day. 
So anyway, I know it's a little bit more of me just kind of rambling and being goofy with my stitch markers. But if you, I would appreciate it if this is your first time here, if you go ahead and subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload videos. And go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.